one quick thing that we're going to do, Cam, is I have a question for SLU students. How do you feel about this happening on your campus? How do you feel about the protests making its way here? How do you feel about the protests and the city and happening overnight? <laughs> Her name was Catherine Stout. I want you to, everyone to feel welcome, whether you welcome, you don't like it here, that's okay. I, I want to hear that. You have critiques on today's dialogue, I want to hear that. So moving forward, if we put something like this together, we can get better with time. Because ultimately that's the goal, to improve whatever is wrong as time passes. So if you have any responses. There's no black owned business that would deliver here right now. So I'm sorry that we couldn't cater to that, although it's much appreciated. Um, but we do need to still get food to people who are here. I mean, I myself am hungry. <laughs> I think we're gonna get sandwiches. Oh, here, here. You know, there's a sandwich place right on campus that's open until like two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can get them to bring food over here, right? Yeah, they're okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. Yeah, Pickleman's, no, 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 who knows? Yeah. Because Pickleman's is right across the street, and they'll bring food over here for you. Okay, so after this is over, Hi, I'm going to show down the uh, My name is Morgan Fable, I'm a senior okay. here at Blue. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I was kind of indifferent about a lot of the situations because I didn't have, like, quote unquote, all the facts. Um, and so actually having y'all on campus uh, made, I felt the atmosphere a lot heavier. Um, and it was really unsettling to have to sit in my classes like it was a normal day knowing what had happened last night. Um, unfortunately, I was asleep. My friend Katie over there tried to call me awake. I didn't wake up. Um, and so I'm really, really grateful for this dialogue because it helped me hear from other ones, everyone's side. And I, I gotta be honest, like I still don't have like what, all the facts. I feel like we've get, been given hundreds and that's why it's been really hard to discern like what's, you know, sort if you of things donate, I'm on. Can you please leave a but comment what I kind like, of like landed on is that like, there's a lot of brokenness here in our city and in our country. And that's where I've landed, and just as the next generation, like, I don't think it's an accident that y'all ended up at SLU, where we're going to be the next generation to be like, great, we're going we're gonna to do, di do this differently, because we all have a different mindset, and we are open to this conversation and this dialogue. And so for me, it's actually been really encouraging to be like, great, I'm next. Let me choose how this is going to end up. Um, and let's just start doing it. Let's start living it. So I'm really grateful for y'all being here. With everyone here i just walked around and i kept introducing myself to people and i kept hearing all these amazing stories and i realized like holy shit, these are my neighbors this is my community i'm a part of all these people i'm not trapped inside this bubble of slew First and, the bubble. yes I, I thank you guys so much for coming inside the bubble and busting out like this morning i skipped my first two classes and went to ferguson to protest at the police station and i'm just so thankful to have you guys here to open my eyes and Help me like be an actual part of this community and not secluded in my own little slew community. Keep it up. So, They're you. across the street. When this shuts down, I'm just gonna go get it. I can't shut. I can't call right now. How are we doing, slew? Woo! Yeah. Woo! I said, how are we doing, slew? Yeah. One more chance. How are we doing? Yeah. 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 All right. My name is Matt Love. I'm a rock and roll musician from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm originally from Mississippi. Can you leave a note that says food for occupation or something, something like that? SLU food on the donation, please. My own family is racist. I'm, trying to, I'm getting donations for food. Let me tell you something about Mississippi. It is the most backward state in the entire nation. Alabama. But that's going to change. Yes. How is it going to change? This moment right here. Yes. All right. Here's what I have to say. I'm a musician, so I want to start out by singing. <laughs> Maybe you're You'll right. Sing along with me. We're going to do a stomp and a clap. Can you guys handle that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. It goes like this. Stomp, clap, stomp, clap, stomp, clap, 
song. Clap. Y'all sing along. Song. Clap. Song. Clap. Song. Clap. All we are saying. Sing along. Is give me such a Sing it like you mean it because we have to. All we are saying. That's right. Hey, come on. Is give peace a chance. Here we go. Sing along, people. All we are saying. Put them up. Two fingers. Is give peace a chance. Where's my fingers out here? All we are saying. Give me a chance. Oh. Yeah. I was like, wait, they was really about to hit it over here. I'm on my way. Hold on. This right here, this moment is not about me. This is what I was born to do. Go to PayPal and donate to Bella Echo Media. B E L L A E I K O. I have also been treated terribly by this system that we live in. At me.com. Yes. They do target the poor. Yes, they do target men and women of color. Yes. But they, they also target the poor. I've been a poor boy since I was born. I've traveled this whole country with nothing but a guitar on my back and I've sat on street corners across this great country. This moment right here is not about St. Louis. The whole world is watching you people. <laughs> yeah, right now. The whole world is watching all of us. Do you guys know that? Yeah. Say yes. 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 The whole world is watching us. Will we do the right thing this time? Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing, it all began with Mike Brown. That cannot be denied. He was what I call an involuntary martyr here. Courtney or somebody, can you post it in the feed, please? He did not deserve to die. He did not deserve to be shot so many times. No one deserves that, not even an animal. But guess what? He ignited a spark that's going to forever change this country. This is not about Mike Brown. This is not about, tell me the other kid's name. It's, it's very important we get his name Von right. Von Derrick Myers. Say again. Von Derrick Myers. Easy out for Alan Blue for Oscar Grant. Because guess what? <laughs> People have been killed all over this country for no goddamn reason. And it's time it ends today. But here's the deal this is not about St. Louis, this is not about Mike Brown. Thank God for Mike Brown. Thank God that people started paying attention for once and saying, no, no longer are police going to be able to do this to us because they're here to protect and serve us. Clark Sullivan Here's just posted it, Paradisia. This is about our children. What legacy are you going to leave here, people? What are they going to say about you 150 years from now? Think about that. Let's unite. Woo! Put your hands together and scream and yell as loud as you can. Let's unite here tonight. Let's let them know that we're going to change the world from St. Louis, Missouri. My name's Matt Love. I love you all. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I have one suggestion. Oh, all right. Yeah, answer your question about how I personally feel about the protests on SLU's campus. I'm a senior here, and for the four years that I have been here at SLU, I have never felt like I have fit in. Never. And it pisses me off. And so I am so glad that these protesters are here because I think we are breaking down what the stereotype of SLU is. I think we are breaking it down, and we need to continue to break it down. We need to continue this dialogue in our classes. For all the people that aren't here today, we need to go and ask them what their oppression is and who they oppress and make them start thinking about this. We as white people need to start thinking about race every single day. All right. Woo. Thank you.
I just wanted to comment on something she said. She said, we as white people need to think about race every day. It doesn't mean that we're saying that black people don't need to think about it. We're just saying that black people don't have a choice but to think about it every day. So if you're white, you have to make the conscious effort sometimes to think about it. And then um, wrap up things would be, I want to continue the dialogue. My name is Alicia Sanye. I'm a freshman student here. If you want to have a conversation with me, if you have a question, if you want to get lunch, get dinner, get Starbucks, whatever, I'm totally down with having the conversation. I'm sure there's many people here today that are also ready to continue the dialogue. And the last thing would be, I want to make sure that this isn't just a one-time thing. The only way it cannot be a one-time thing is if everybody present here continues to dialogue. Go talk to somebody. When you leave here, go talk to somebody. And when you're in your classrooms, if you hear somebody make a comment that you know is inappropriate or offensive to a group of people, whether you belong to that group or not, correct them. Because I want you to know, silence is consent. Silence is consent. If you don't correct them, you're agreeing with them. You're allowing it to continue. So make, that's, that's what I'm going to leave you with. I'm encouraging you to reach out, talk to whoever if you want to continue the dialogue, and to correct people because we're trying to hold the university accountable and hold each other accountable, and that's how we do that. So thank everybody for coming out. Feel free to stay and continue the dialogue. I feel like this was very successful. Have a great night. All right, y'all. So what's going on is somebody in my stream asked me if there were any black-owned businesses who would deliver food to the occupation tonight. Um, according to people who are from the area, there are not, but there are other options. And so there's Picklemans across the street and like Jimmy, Jimmy something or whatever. Um, I think we're going to go with the Picklemans option because they're, they're easier to get to. Um, I was asking that if you donated to my PayPal for this specific thing for food for the occupation, could you please leave that note saying that this is for food or you could put supplies and I will go get like tents or like whatever it is that they need. Um, my my PayPal email should be at the bottom of the page, but it's B E L L A E I K O M E D I A at me dot com. There's also a taco place from um, uh, Catherine Stout, right? That's your name. She just came and told me about the taco place. So I guess uh, we can, might be able to make an announcement and see what people want, or if I got enough, maybe I can order something from all three, and people can out have a little selection. I mean, all of you have been out at the occupation, definitely. Um, oh, door to door and soul taco, minority owned, door to door. Oh, okay. Well, uh, there you go. Since that's the preference. Um, is to have a minority-owned business. We have Dole to Door Taco. They're a minority-owned business. And uh, we're going to check and see if they're open. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to cut the screen, screen back on stream back on because I believe that there are some break-off groups that are kind of organically formed to continue the dialogue. So um, give me a second. Uh, matter of fact, if you let me know when the chat lag catches up so I can go ahead and shut down the stream without an, without it, you know breaking off. Um, I'm more of a writer. I'll, I'll go ahead and do that. So, uh, yeah, once again, let me know in the chat stream. Uh, catches up, or the chat lag catches up, excuse me. Yeah. I sure do. My name is, yeah, um, but I go by uh, Bella. This is my, my Twitter handle kind of blew up once I've realized this is how people are communicating. But it happened with me during the Occupy Oakland stuff, so now I'm out here because... Thank you. Uh, the fight definitely did not stop. You know what I mean? But thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Bella. Right? Yes. I'm Katie. Hi, Katie. And thank you for questions. Okay. I was wondering if you have like, any advice or. Well, I was a speech major. Um, I did speech communication. So it's, you know, I, you know, it's different. Um, 